Hello everyone, it's B1 here and welcome to our 1 to 200 Arcana guide for New World. I hit 200 Arcana a while back and after seeing a lot of different guides about this skill, they all seem to be missing some crucial materials and potions that you should be crafting that will not only save you loads of time, but also loads of gold. It only cost me roughly 1000 gold to go from 1 to 150, which is by far the hardest part of this. But from 150 to 200, it takes no time at all and you will make thousands. So let's get into it. Firstly, let's talk about efficiency. Surprisingly, you're going to be making thousands upon thousands of potions on your journey to 200 Arcana and you do not want to be making any more than you have to. You also want to make sure this is as cheap as possible. I've seen some guides suggesting using materials that would cost well over 20,000 gold in total to get to 200. Where with my method, you actually make quite a lot of money at the end of it. So for this reason, I'm going to be making reference to experience gained per gold coin spent. This will be useful for a number of reasons, but mainly because each server's economy is different. So the prices for materials will vary from server to server. So if you're looking at leveling this way, you will always ensure you will find the most efficient way to level specifically for you and your server. Secondly, if you already have a good way of making consistent gold, it's going to be far more efficient for you to buy the materials from the trading house, apart from water. This is the easiest thing in the game to gather. There is no excuse for not gathering it yourself. It's quick and easy. It only takes one finger from one hand, pressing one button every couple of seconds. So this can be done semi-AFK while watching movies, Netflix, eating food, or partaking in any other extracurricular activities that you might fancy. I do have a secret spot that I will reveal at the end of this guide that is not only good gold per hour, but you will gather loads of the most expensive ingredient used for leveling. And as a bonus, you can do this at level one, as there are no mobs around that can kill you. So let's go check out what potions you will be making and see what ingredients you should be using. From levels one to five, you are going to be taking a trip to the trading house and buying Hyssop. They cost 0.05 gold each on my server, although they regularly sell for 0.01. You need 550 experience to get to our level five milestone, which means 92 potions. Using these ingredients will cost you just over seven gold to get there. From level five, you can make common focus potions which gives you 24 experience per potion. This is where most guides will tell you to spam these potions using water motes until 50, if not 150 Arcana. Do not do this. Water motes are expensive and can cost anywhere between 0.9 and 2 gold each, depending on your server. Yes, they're easily farmable, but are used in nearly every crafting skill, so there's high demand, which keeps prices strong. Let's just say for comparison, the cost of materials doing it this way is one gold. You need 10,575 additional experience to get to 50, so you need to craft 441 potions. Using water moats will cost you 441 gold. You do not have to use water moats for this potion. There are much cheaper alternatives available, specifically Rivercrest stem, which I bought for 0 0.2 each. Using water moats will give you 24 experience per gold spent, while using stems gives you over 100. The total cost of getting to 50 using stems will only be around 100 gold. If you are planning on gathering the resources yourself, you're much better off gathering the water moats, selling them on the trading house, and buying stems. Levels 50 to 150 is easily the hardest part of this grind. As I mentioned before, some guides will suggest you to do common focus potions to 150 or even strong health potions, but I have a much better method that gives you over 500 experience per gold spent. I created strong mana potions, which gives you 90 experience per potion, but I crafted these using the little known ingredient of catfish whiskers. We have our friendly neighborhood fishing bots to thank for why this method is so much cheaper and efficient. At the moment on my server, these whiskers are going for just 0.12 gold each. But I also used buy orders and was easily buying up hundreds of these for just 0.08 gold. If we go with the cautious cost for comparison's sake of 0.15 gold each, that gives us a total cost per potion of 0.18 gold, or 500 experience per gold spent. 
you will need 491,350 experience to get to 150, which means crafting 5,450 potions. But with this hidden gem of an ingredient, it costs less than a thousand gold to buy the materials, which in comparison to doing common focus potions with water motes is 20,000 gold cheaper. You can also supplement these levels by crafting regeneration potions. Now these cost quite a lot to make, but you can make a profit on them. For example, on my server, a life bloom leaf costs 3.85 gold and a tangle wisp costs 0.2. So a total cost of 4.18 gold for 90 experience, which isn't great. But I've sold these for as high as 10 gold per potion in some towns where people were clearly just trying to turn in town board quests. Now, I don't suggest you dump loads of gold into this specific method as it won't be consistent and the market for these potions are really sensitive. So I only made around 200 at a time, 50 in each of the four main starter cities. And then once they had sold, I'd go and refresh them in the marketplace. Now from levels 150 to 200 is where the real fun starts. You're going to be crafting infused health potions, which give a massive 620 experience per potion. The materials you need are Azoth water and a tier 2 earth and spirit reagent. I do not suggest using moats like other guides are, as they are still really expensive compared to other alternatives. I use Petal Caps and Bumble Blossom, which on my server are less than half the price of Earth and Soul Motes, which is going to save you thousands of gold. Azoth Water is the most expensive material and goes for around 1.2 gold each on my server. You're going to need around 1.4 million experience to get to 200, or 2,243 infused health potions. With a total XP per gold spent of 354, and a total cost of 1 gold 75 per potion, it's going to cost you just under 4k gold to get to 200. Now, the XP per gold is quite a bit less than catfish whisker potions, which are at 500, but infused health potions have a much better resale value and easily sell in the marketplace. I cleared for all my 2000 potions from prices in between 5 to 10 gold each, and I spread them across all the different cities. If you're smart with selling these at different towns, you're going to make thousands of gold. Now, the biggest problem you'll find with this guide is either gathering all the materials to make the potions or raising the gold to buy the materials and make the potions. I mentioned at the start of this guide, if you already have a solid way of making money from high level open world dungeons like mining, furnishing, whatever it might be, you'll be better off doing that to raise the gold and buy everything from the trading house. If you don't, I have a perfect method that covers everything that you will need, raising gold and even gathering the most expensive material you'll need for your journey to 200 Arcana. And even better is you don't need to be a high combat level. Here we are at the location that I use to gather Azoth water from Azoth Springs and water moats from the floating spinefish. It's in Reekwater Town. You have to go down to the bottom here. On this coastline and you start at this azoth spring here so there are some enemies here but they can easily avoid them so you start here up to the second node and you can run along here uncontested and jump across here to the floating spine fish i recommend using a fire staff so you can um, uh, use the ability that gets across the water there or using the rapier um, as that's got a similar move too so across to this one and then again across here there's no enemies here at all so you can gather the azoth spring and the two floating spine fish they have a chance of dropping um the fish itself which is a tier five that you don't really want all water moats and they can drop between 30 and 40 at a time you keep following that across until you get up here cut across this island until you're over here as well then again you just follow it around here there are no enemies at all and no one really goes here and you can gather all of them they respawn every 10 to 15 minutes it takes a good three or four minutes to get around you can maybe do this between four or five times an hour um, in total there's nine um, spine fish which can drop between 30 and 40 moats so if you're really lucky you can get around 360 water moats each circle 
and there's 10 Azov springs that normally drop around 6 Azov water. So you can get around 60 Azov water run as well. So on an hourly basis, you're probably going to be getting between 1.5 and 2,000 golds worth material. Thanks everyone for checking out this guide. I hope it was helpful. If you enjoyed this content, please subscribe and like the video as there's lots more to come. Next up will either be a money making guide for Arcana or furnishing. I'm not sure yet. So let me know in the comments which you'd prefer or if there's something else entirely you would like me to cover. Thanks again and good night.